Alrighty then, welcome to another Let's Play by me, Mage. And, uh, of course, it is Final Fantasy X. I finally decided um, to go and try and do this one. Now, um, a couple of things. This game I got when it first came out. It was one of my first PS2 games. Played it to death. I absolutely loved it. Every second of this game is fantastic. Um, it's got its tricky parts, it's got its stupid moments, but it's just an excellent experience. Of the story, characters, battle system, leveling up system, the world, the sort of look, it's... Phew, blows me away every time. And I'm going to try and play it now. Um, character advancement system selection. Features two versions of the character advancement sphere grid. Oh, I love the sphere grid so much. Standard sphere grid for beginners. First time playing, use this grid. Well, no, I reckon I'm going to go for the expert grid. I'll explain more about the sphere grid later in the game. You have selected the expert sphere grid. Yes. Can't change once you're in the game, so... Okay. And the music to this game is just fantastic as well. Oh yeah, I have to say it's probably one of my favourites of the series. And I'm just going to shut up now for this intro, and uh, I'll see you back soon. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Ooh, that's a very uh, different opening to what we used to. But it works. I reckon it works. Final Fantasy X. Now, do I? No, I don't have to press anything. It will go away on its own. God, I'm looking forward to playing this. One of my all-time favourite games, but... Um, I, oh. I'm not an expert at some parts of the game. There's some pretty fiendish mini-games and stuff. And to get some of the cool, you know, some of the best weapons in the game, you have to do some really nasty crap that I'm going to try and do, but I've never managed to get all of the characters' celestial weapons. But that's way, way in the future. There's no point worrying about that shit right now. Let's focus on the present, where a dude has just sort of... A very transparent dude has just appeared and disappeared. 
bit strange, but we got the sort of a remixed dance version, kind of, of the uh, prelude theme, or theme, sorry. Hey, they're waving at us, they're waving. And we are this guy, uh, a character that seems to divide opinion. Um, uh, we'll learn his name soon. Or in fact, do we? No, no one ever actually says his name, because you can rename him. But um, I'm going to stick with his name, which is Titus. I call him Titus, I don't call him Titus, because, you know, it sounds like tedious. And yes, he can be a bit, you know, boring at times, but he's, uh, he's a very energetic chap, this guy. He doesn't really get on my nerves. I can understand why people might hate him, but anyway, let's walk over here to people that are holding blue balls. Okay, let's chat to these little chaps. Can you sign us? No prob. No prob. Hey, we're a bit of a celebrity. Okay, this is, yep. When we enter our name, gonna keep that. Confirm. He's the only character you can name in the game, I believe. Alrighty. Alrighty. Me too. Take it easy. Yeah, you little brat. I'll slap you. You funky hairdo. <laughs> Who else do we want to talk to? One of these fine women. Can I have your autograph? You can. Of course. Especially in those shorts. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Confident bastard, isn't he? Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That Craig one David. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row. Fifth from the right. I'd never remember that. Got it. Yeah, I'm glad you do, Titus. I don't. Anyway, let's speak to her again. Thank you for the autograph. No probs. Thank you for the autograph. Are you not gonna give me anything? I could have swore you're supposed to give me some items. Thank you for the autograph. Yeah, no worries. It's okay. Thank you for the Shut autograph. up now. Okay, I get the picture. Oh. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. Teach us how to blitz. No. Hey, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, well, you can't tonight. Who the hell are you, transparent I mean, man? Tomorrow. Promise. Promise. Remember this. Remember this. This is quite an important uh, action they are performing. God, when was this game released? 2002, was it? Still looks okay, really. I mean, look at that. What a city. What a city. Pretty damn futuristic. Look at the sky and everything. Who the hell's that? Looks like he's pouting there. <laughs> well, you're not impressed with him, are you? I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Who's this guy? Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. Oh, this is like a radio guy. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? Zanar. I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. Ah. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. 
What kind of super play will he show us today? Don't know. Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. No, no. Okay, well, I just got some potions off that woman for saying that I'll get her into into the game or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're a star blitzball player. And, um, Jacked was our dad or something like that. It's all revealed later anyway. Make way, make way. Make way. God, look at all these... Through, Look at all these fans, God. He must feel like me. I've got all these fans, you hey, see. I'm gonna be late. I can't walk around Preston without being uh, hey, bombarded with uh, with praise and love from all my adoring fans. But this is a very futuristic looking uh, stadium. Cool statues and stuff. But anyway, here we go. Prepare yourselves for some kick-ass cutscenes. I'm just going to shut the hell up because these are epic. Who's this chap? He's obviously not afraid of heights. Holy shit. That's a big, big wave. Pretty water effects, but uh That's got to be a foul. Red card. I love this shot. Look at that. The water's just floating up. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's shooting missiles. Yep, that's the oh shit look. Wow. What the hell is going on here? Hold on! Oh my word. This is a bit more like you. This is a proper Final Fantasy opening. Shit gets real. Oh, my word. Have we survived? Looks like we have. Oh, my God. Yeah, you'd have one hell of a headache after that fall. Alright, let's run. Oh, it's that guy. Orin. And we know him. What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? One of the coolest, one of my, probably my favorite character in the game, right there. One of the coolest characters of all time. Who are you? Can I speak to you? No. Okay. Well, I'm better follow me, mate. Love this music. Epic, epic, man. Now these sort of highways look like it's supposed to be cars on them, but I suppose uh, maybe not. What kind of clothes are we wearing anyway? Oh, the hell's happened? Huh? 
Everyone's frozen. It begins. The LP of Mage Masher. Indeed. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay, we're going nuts. That's a good start. Seeing people. Um, hallucinations. While the city's been attacked. What the, indeed. Hey, wait! Oh, there he is. Let's uh, capture up to him then. Hey, not this way. Look. <sighs> God. The uh, CGI or whatever they use is fantastic. Look at that. Look at the war effects on that bad boy. We called it Sin. Sin. Sin? Whoa! The building is growing tentacles. No, we're fucked now. <laughs> oh, great. Look at him trying to fight him off. Like a big girl. What is it with those pants, anyway? Why is one leg longer than the other? Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> Bit of a wimp at the moment. Ah, so Jack is his dad. And the, the gift. So he gives that sword, okay. The plot's all coming together. We know what's going on. Hope you know how to use it. Let's hope so. Otherwise we are screwed at the beginning of the game. Right, first battle. Let's get to grips with it. It's gonna be a These lot of, don't matter. Yeah. We cut through. A lot of tutorial crap we're gonna be getting through at the beginning, so sorry about that. There we go. Orin. A badass he is. Love the way he takes his uh, his arm out of his sort of sling in battle. It's like, yeah, now I'm serious. Oh god, more of him. Beautiful. Excellent. Now there's no point attacking the ones behind us. The ones that matter and run. Yep, so we're just gonna go for the guys in front. What's this? Ooh! Now, obviously, it's gonna be pretty hard to die at this point in the game, so. Just attack. And on we move. Towards the big floating sphere of doom. You know, as you would, as you would in this sort of situation. Looks like we're gonna fight this bastard. <laughs> Titus is like, please, do we have to go this way? Please, can we just avoid this? But no, no luck. Sort of a mini boss, this in a way. Demi, what does this do? Uh, gravity attack reduces our health by a quarter, I believe. You tell it. Some can't wait to die. Oh, what a line! Some can't wait to die. Overdrives. When a character's overdrive gauge beneath his HP MP displays four, the character can make a special unique attack once. Press left. Command window will use an overdrive. Okay. Overdrive. Bushido. Dragon Fang. What an enemy. Damages all enemies. Right. And now I need to press some buttons here, which I may fail at. Beautiful. Oh man. That is cool. 
Titus followed it up with a pretty weak attack there. Now obviously if it's just reducing our health by a quarter it can't actually kill us, so don't worry about it. But we've got an overdrive now, sword play. Spiral cut, let's have a look at your overdrive, buddy. Can you match or in strength? His coolness. Okay. You got a bit of agility there. That's a nice little flip you did there. And each hit seems to destroy a little tentacle or whatever. Yeah, keep on using that, buddy. It ain't gonna hurt us. Well, it is, but, you know, it's not fatal. Keep on attacking. I will be disappointed if I die, actually. But it doesn't look like you can use any other attacks, so... It's alright. Carry on doing what we're doing. But you'll see the battle system in this is completely turn-based. Which, uh, I think it, it works pretty well. It's, it's not bad. You can sort of take your time. You're not pressured into making any mistakes. Although, obviously, during the LP I will be dying quite a bit sometimes, maybe. Depending on how much I uh, research to the enemies and stuff. I do have a guidebook somewhere. I'm going to have to root it out. Help. It's a long, long game. Alright, have we finished it? Looks like we have. Very nice. Right, now we run. <laughs> and I see the first save point of the game coming up. Here we go. Traveller's save sphere level 1 stores a record of your travels. And every time you touch one it fully heals you, so I need to be using these a lot. Now, do I actually have a save slot available? I have one there. I still have a couple here, but that... Uh, saving slot for. Try not to look at the other uh, save files. Maybe spoilers. I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on. Sip me drink. What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. We have been expected. Huh? What the hell's he talking about? Yeah, give me a break, man. For the most part, I, I think the voice acting is okay in this game, but you can tell certain lines are just a bit awkward. You can tell they've just been chucked in there because they couldn't be asked re recording it or whatever. I don't know. There is, uh, there is the infamous laughing scene that we will have to endure at some point as well. That just makes me cringe, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're in for a surprise, you're in for a treat. That's not for a while yet, so don't worry. Wings are flickering, that's not good. Maybe we should take out the guy that's flickering. How do we... There we go. Get rid of him, because that means he's about to use a special attack or something. Oh, what, what am I doing? Yeah, there's this, uh, there's this machine at the right there. Can't target it yet. I'm sure we will in a minute. Ooh. Just keep on taking them out. Hmm. This could be bad. Could be. That. Knock it down. What? Alrighty then. Trust me, you'll see. I'll show you. Right, let's just smack this then. Um, should I? Yeah, no, we'll just keep on smacking this. What the hell? This is where we get absolutely mauled. Oh, nicely dodged, Titus. Oh, got smacked in the ass there. Alright, how many more hits do we need on this? Maybe two more. 
Maybe one more. Ooh, maybe one more. Don't you dare kill us. I'll be very annoyed. There we go. Some strange machinery that was. Whoa. The building's falling down on us, great. <laughs> Look at Orin, he's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. All in a day's work. Now what are you going to do? Go. Oh, go. Well, go over there, where the road's like, falling down. Four leg like it. Use your jumping skills here. Look at that. Oh, that's an epic jump. Maybe propelled by some of the explosions, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. going on? We've been sucked up through his ass. It all begins here. <laughs> Alright then, what the hell? It'll all be explained, don't you worry, but yeah. First time you play, Hey. Might be a bit uh, hey. confusing. What? My old man. Right. So we're floating in midair around the city. Let's go down then. Looks like we're swimming. The hell? Where do we actually have to go? I can't remember. Ah, over here. This is it, over here. Towards this... ...chap... ...who... ...if you play the game you'll know who that is. I mean, you might recognise him, but... I mean, if you I were just you know, playing the game, but... Like... ...where I was... ...what I got myself into. I started to feel uh, lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. I just had that uh, image of Donkey from Shrek singing, I'm all alone, there's no one here beside me. That was funny. Where the hell are we now? It's like a bunch of ruins. Is there anybody there, buddy? Really? Does it look like there's anyone around? Hey! This is a spooky looking place. My dog's going mental downstairs, so I'm going to have to stop the recording there as we're floating in this, uh... Oh my 
where, where the hell are we? Yeah, I'm going to stop another one, so uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this LP will be a good one. It's, uh, it's going to be a long one, I'm telling you. This game is long. Maybe as long as Dark Chronicle whenever I finish that. Um, I, I was a bit, you know, sceptical. Well, not sceptical, but a bit worried about starting two RPGs at the same time. Especially two RPGs as big as, you know, they are Dark Chronicle and FF10, but... Um, I reckon I'm going to enjoy this Let's Play, it should be a laugh, and there will be fail, um, definitely it's some of the mini-games like I said, um, but it is an awesome game, so yeah, I'm going to end it there, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with uh, old Tidus there, floating around like a big turd, okay. <laughs>